Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Taylor, if you guys are new here. Sorry, I literally look crazy. I just got out of the shower. It's literally so late. It's 2 o'clock. I slept until 11.30. Then I had to get some work stuff done. I am so behind on editing. <laughs> Actually, so behind. I think I have four videos to edit. Um, which is kind of scary, but... Like, I literally love vlogging, but just, like, the thought of, like, sitting down and editing is, like... So dreadful to me so yeah that's the problem here but anyways I have to run to the mall and exchange something and I think we're gonna go on the boat later today I just called to make sure it was still in the water which it is thank gosh um but yeah, that's what's going on here. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I don't know if I already said it was Saturday. I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure, honestly. I have been so tired. Like, I literally don't know why I'm so tired. My mom thinks it's because I started, like, working out again. My body's, like, trying to, like, get used to it. But I don't know. I decided to push my gym days back to only five days a week because... I think six days a week is just like a lot of my body. That's what I was doing when I was in like the best shape of my life. I was doing like six to seven days a week. And yeah, I don't know. But like literally I went to bed at like 10 o'clock last night and I slept till 11.30 this morning. I had my alarm set for nine, but like snoozed that, you know. I don't know guys, I don't know. I'm just like freaking tired all the time you know and I also have this like pimple on my face you can see right there you know I don't know but anyways that is that hope you guys are having a good weekend I like I said I have to run some errands off my of thing today have been working as well um also I feel like a lot of people are like what do you do now that you quit your corporate job um so Austin has a business if you don't know um so I handle everything on the back end like I schedule all the meetings I meet with clients um all the billing, all the payroll, any other bills that need to get paid, insurance, the whole thing. I basically do all the back end. And you guys are probably like, well, Taylor, you have a college degree in biology. Why are you not using it? And honestly, that's a good question. So I worked using my degree for two years after I graduated college. And I liked it. I really did, but... I don't know. I feel like I, I switched jobs twice during that time. I was, at, I was at both practices for one year. And I don't know. I just felt like I wasn't, like, happy. I wasn't content in my life. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I kind of wasn't going anywhere, honestly. And I didn't really like working for somebody else, honestly. I really didn't. Um, so Austin had brought to my attention, you know, I was really unhappy and he was like, why don't you just quit your job and work for me? And like, I would do some stuff for him occasionally, but it was nothing crazy. Like I was still working over 40 hours a week and stuff. So it's kind of hard. Um, and so he was like, why don't you just quit your job? I like, well, I can't just quit my job. Like. Him and I obviously aren't married yet, but, like, we do share finances and stuff, so I still had to, like, hold my weight. And, like, yeah, he was, like, I got you covered, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, like, still, like, I've always been so independent with my own finances. Like, I've, you know, like, I just like to have it, all my bases covered fine. Um, so, anyways, I, once we, like, sat down and did the logistics of everything, I was, like, 
okay i think this could work i was gonna try it out and i kind of just fell in love with it i it's just like i don't know i feel like i'm doing something different every day i'm like constantly on the go which i like and i just feel like i have so much room to grow and like even just like growing the business and stuff like i feel like there's no like threshold that i'm gonna hit and be stuck there it's like we're constantly growing which i like um so yeah that's another thing i'm not saying i will never go back to school i'm just saying that i haven't been this content in my life since i graduated college um which has been two years ago three years ago two years ago we just hit two years since i graduated college um so yeah i'm just kind of feeling it out i'm only 24 so i have plenty of time if i want to go back to school um and i'm a very like motivated person so i'm not worried about like I know a lot of people were like, once I'm out of school, like, if I didn't go right into, like, grad school or something, like, there's no way I would have been able to go back. Like, I'm a very motivated individual, so I don't, like, there would never be a problem for me going back. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really content right now. Um, I'm just kind of seeing, like, what happens if I get the urge to go back, um, or if I decide to do something else, you know? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself for a really long time to, uh, like, follow the exact steps. Like, so, backstory. Growing up, like, where I came from in Pennsylvania, like, entrepreneurship, like, was not a thing. Like, I did not know that was a thing. I had no idea what that meant. I thought, like, you went to high school, you graduated, you went to college, then you worked or you went back to school, and, like, that was that. Like, I just, that was it. So, when I met Austin, and he obviously is an entrepreneur. He's been one for so many years now, I don't even know. Probably, like, ten. Um, and it's just, like, crazy to see that, like, you are in control of how much money you make. And I love that. I love not, like, having boundaries and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like, you know, weighing my options, see what I want to do. I'm still young, um, and just see what opportunities come my way, you know? But I've, li I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately where it's like people in their 20s are really confused and don't know what they're supposed to be doing, and that's okay. And it's kind of resonated with me a lot because I feel like I have been really confused just being like, do, do I go back to school, like, and it's been really hard for me because that's just, like, always what I've known until obviously being opened up to this whole entrepreneurship thing, and I wouldn't say my degree is a waste because I think always having a degree to go back to is very important in my, um, in my case, I mean, look at athletes or YouTubers or anything else, like, they pretty much all have degrees, um, cause obviously like once they retire or something like that, like they have something to fall back on, which I love having. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of exploring my options and I'm kind of taking this time now to like be okay with whatever life throws at me and where like, like not having like a set plan right now. Um, and it's been really nice, honestly. It has been really nice. I feel like I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone more to go and like meet people and it's just been really good for me um, and for my anxiety too. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Another thing, so that's like my job situation right now. I'm currently working for Austin. I do a lot of stuff. Um, I'm the first person that you meet with if you become our client. Um, I'm basically the face of the company, Austin. I get the people in, Austin makes the magic happen. That's kind of how it works. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really good. But another thing I really wanted to touch on, I think I'm just going to do like a get ready with me, like kind of talking and catching up and stuff. Cause I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my anxiety and depression. Um, so backstory in 2020 when COVID hit I think COVID hit I was a junior in college at that time um 
I guess, when did COVID hit? Like February-ish? March maybe? So I flew back to Pennsylvania and I was doing college from there. Obviously everything was closed down. So I guess like May, June came and I was at home and everything was fine, whatever. But like I would get to the point where like I was getting myself so worked up. I felt like I couldn't breathe and I would pass out. Or like almost pass out like there was one time where I did pass out so um and I was kind of like confused what it was for a while I just like didn't really know I didn't really know what anxiety felt like I feel like people throw around that term um so much um that and like panic attack and stuff they just all kind of I don't know throw it around I didn't really know what it was I never had it growing up um so <clears throat> I ended up calling my doctor I think I waited a few months actually um, and I got put on anxiety medicine I've been on anxiety medicine since 2020 now um, I've actually had it switched a couple times just from like side effects and stuff and upping the dosage which I recently did um, I did that about a, like two weeks ago now just because I felt like I was still having panic attacks um, and that was after being switched to a different one, which had way less side effects, but that was the lowest dose on that one, because I don't like to go on super high doses right away. Um, but then probably like a year ago, while on my other anxiety medicine, I just started feeling really sad. Like, I didn't want to leave the house, didn't want to go anywhere, I had like no interest in doing anything really. Um, and I was just sad, like I felt like I was sad all the time, I thought about moving back home again. Like, just, like, the weirdest things were happening to me. Like, I didn't, I really didn't know what was going on. Um, so, recently, I got diagnosed with depression probably, like, a year ago now. Six months to a year ago. Um, but, recently, I also have panic attacks, too. Which I have other medication for. So, like, if I'm in a big social situation um, with a lot of people around, I have to make sure that I'm close to an exit. And not around a bunch of people because I get very overwhelmed and I will just freak out. Like if I can't see the exit to something, I'll freak out. Um, I know it probably sounds crazy to some people, but I just wanted to really talk about it because um, anxiety and depression is nothing to mess around with. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, it really isn't. I feel like for a while I was kind of in denial of having depression because I've heard people talk about like... I just thought I had anxiety, honestly. But then when my symptoms started getting um, severely worse, um, like there was, it, it never got to the point where I was like self-harming or um, thoughts of hurting myself, like nothing like that. Um, I was just sad, honestly. So yeah, that's basically what happened. I'm now on a higher dose. And I feel really good. Um, I also started going back to the gym, which I hadn't done since college ended. So I feel like that is helping a lot too. Um, I am not currently in therapy. I was in therapy for a while. Uh, both when I was younger for like family stuff. And then for um, having an eating disorder when I was younger in like high school um which I can talk about in another video I've never opened up about that ever but um yeah but I'm not currently in therapy I thought about going to therapy I feel like it would really help me I'm not ashamed to go at all um it's just something I have to look into find somebody that's good for me but yeah I feel like I just kind of wanted to come on here and tell you guys that, like you're not alone and Definitely just like go talk to your doctor. I know medication is not for everyone. I'm not saying it is, but I feel like just talking to your doctor, weighing your options, seeing if maybe therapy is a good start for you, um, or obviously if things get really bad going on medication. I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of with medication because it's just going to make you a better person um, and have a better life. So obviously this is like completely up to you guys. I'm just telling you guys my um, situation. But yeah, it has definitely helped me so 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 much um and I feel like I'm really in tune with my body and my thoughts and stuff and knowing my triggers for panic attacks and kind of knowing when I might need to up my medication um 
and you know just which situations I shouldn't put myself in like for example I knew that I needed to up my medication because I would stress about the absolute littlest things like I would lie in bed at night and be like oh my god I didn't empty the dishwasher or oh my god did I turn the oven off and like it would keep me up or like I should have gotten the clothes out of the dryer like just stuff like that or like things I did during the day that I felt like I should have did differently like literally those thoughts would just all run through my head at night and even during the day like it would get it was so crippling to the point where like I felt like I literally couldn't do anything during my day like I would just think about literally every possible thing that could go wrong and that's how it was with like social outings too like I didn't want to hang out with anyone really I basically pushed all my friends away um well I didn't like push my friends away it was just like I would just constantly like not want to go out or hang out with anyone just because like I was just scared of like any possible thing that could happen to me um which is kind of scary and I'm a very social person so like when that happened I knew like okay Taylor like something's wrong like you got to get this figured out which thank god I did um, but yeah, it's just, it's kind of crazy and it's definitely something I wanted to talk to you guys about because I, it's just something I've struggled with and I feel like I'm really honest with you guys and if this even helps one person, you know, go to their doctor and just talk to them about anything or get into therapy or anything or if you're scared to go on medication, um, personally it has changed my life for the better. I'm not saying medication is for everyone, but just saying with my experience, I have had a really good experience on the medication. And you might have to try different ones. And they all do have, the SSRIs do have um, side effects and stuff. So definitely like look into that. See which one is the best for you. You might have to try a couple, like I said. But yeah, that's that. Um, okay, I just finished getting ready. I feel like I just talked to you guys for literally so long. But anyways, yeah, I just finished my makeup. Um, I'm gonna get dressed now I'm trying to figure out also we put this shoe thing on the back of the door and like I don't know I, I, I don't know it's kind of like annoying me but what I did want to show you guys is I think I'm gonna wear a new aloe yoga outfit today I just have to figure out which one I want to wear I have this cute black score or I have this black dress which is really cute too and I honestly might wear this black dress. I think it's so cute. I have this other dress too. I know you guys would have seen all of this in my Ali Yoga haul video. Unless I didn't post that yet. I probably didn't post that yet, but it's fine. We'll get that up for y'all. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I might just wear that black dress today, honestly. But yeah, I feel like overall, I gonna sit down and finish this video off for you guys yeah I feel like overall I am in a much better place now um, just like mentally physically everything because um, yeah I feel like I was in a really dark place in my life um, and I feel comfortable like coming out and talking about my anxiety and depression now I kind of feel like I was embarrassed about the depression for a little while I was never really embarrassed about my anxiety um, but yeah, my depression, I was definitely a little bit embarrassed about, which you should never be embarrassed about it, honestly, you really shouldn't. Um, everyone has things in their life that they struggle with, um, so yeah, that's that. I know this was kind of like a random get ready with me and talk about everything, but yeah, that is that. I hope you guys have a great Saturday, or you're not going to be watching this on Saturday, but today is Saturday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, a great week, a great day, whichever it may be. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I always have it linked down below. I feel like I've been very active on TikTok recently. Um, so, yeah. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I love y'all. Bye.